you know black again folks and basically we do know that those masses are out there and there's also a mass that's like 747 times the size of the sun okay uh, whether it should be dark more than likely and it probably blocks just like when we're looking out here okay and this was on the the 14th this was the shot now I got 16th up and what's interesting here is on the 14th you can see our cluster that has moved around or at least the satellite has moved where we get an angle of at the Sun that the satellite must have moved like further behind the Sun you know that it can angle towards behind the Sun because you got more than we know suns in the well with the supergiants over here okay now remember they cover overlay okay so you're getting the brightness of brightness but you also just get the color that they want you to see okay now that's also why the idea I found what I found and basically you can go and look at the shots and you zoom in and so forth and you'll find stuff too okay so we're gonna zoom in at this stuff in this table so we're zooming in here from the 14th and so forth so you get this real interesting cluster up there okay and basically then I can click and play down here and just pop back out but we'll first we'll rotate to the right and we'll look and kind of scan down and see that cluster okay right there and that's not Jupiter ladies and gentlemen okay like I say again, Jupiter is probably hiding and is on this line that you see there, that magnetic line, because it would be brightness of Jupiter there. Because the only other thing is basically on this is on the 14th, is that Jupiter probably could be that down there. But you don't see the magnetic line that you even get just with looking at, that's our Earth magnetic line there. You start seeing that line come up, you see. So we more than likely can see a mass of more than likely M42 or M45 right there all the way behind all that brightness because the sun's all the way to the left in this shot and you see that it's basically yes folks they're way the hell out our back door in the dark this is earth right now on the 14th we got a real good shot at the back door our dark side of earth the sun in the, is up on this side of earth okay the sun is up we're bright okay because over here is the sun to the left over by the Mars okay and then on the back side, that's our back door, Uranus, that's right. And basically, we'll take you to a couple maps. So when you're looking at this, I can pop back out and go to, like, we'll just get down to, like, we'll go and minus. Sit here talking and we'll minus. So you can just keep on kind of, like, a little bit in focus, I think, on seeing what, what we should be seeing there is masses because they black, block out light. Because on Worldwide Telescope, you will find up behind Uranus, that there is some suns that are massive way up behind Uranus. Yes, Uranus, just like your anus, folks. Uranus is a planet, Neptune and everything, and all that stuff should be out our back door on Earth in this darkness, back where, somewhere back there. And all these are those, more than likely, those suns that they have ended up seeing on the way on the back door behind the Neptune and so forth and so on. So the idea that basically you got a mass here of darkness and you have stars in front of it and so forth that get so much light and everything like that this could be a massive M42 or M45 right flipping there ladies and gentlemen because you end up seeing it on the dark side of earth at night on the nighttime fireball okay that's not the moon that you're seeing in that shot okay it's not a reflection of the moon because basically I've seen the craters they don't match the moon folks on the pictures that I was able to take down okay it's all scientific with that so basically, you have a major planet, huge, one of the masses, maybe the 749 times the size of the sun, not, because you can see there the sun, it's about the size of the sun. So that's probably M42 or M45, right flipping there, ladies and gentlemen, that dark shadow you see right there, all the way back behind all those star clusters, okay? And this possibly can be up behind Uranus and everything like that, also on our back door, because Jupiter's over here somewhere behind, more than likely on that magnetic line over to the right, and we also have this interesting cluster that we see up here that we hardly have. Any, we won't have anybody tell us about that. NASA or nothing's going to talk about that, okay? And we've been watching that cluster. And let's go to some recent photos. I'll save some time on footage, but more than likely these are some of the suns that are stars way back behind Uranus, folks. Neptune. Pluto, way the hell back, and let me show you some maps to realize that stuff in those layers. And also here from the 15th, you see the black line and the darkness back there? That's that envelope we just showed you from the other satellite shot from the other side, folks. Okay, so this is on the 15th, Venus and Mars and Earth on the other side. And let me pop into that at 400 real fast so that you guys realize what I'm talking. That's the sun over there, and basically over here is the black hole, basically all that stuff. 
anything back here is our back door, your anus, and that's more than likely M4245, the humongousness of, the, of it, okay? Way back behind all those star clusters in those darkness is, is a reason, okay? And the sun's over here, and yes, you see some objects bleed through here. Let me take you to a shot where you... So, you know, it's from Lasco, and it's all black, and this is all objects that are around by the sun, okay? I.E., check that out, okay? Because that is an object book. Now, it's real black, and I know you're looking at your... You think you're just looking at a black screen, okay? Well, there's our brick, and that other little planet that we've seen behind the sun. There's our remnant right there that's by the sun, Okay? That's the remnant by the sun, and this is some other objects by the sun. And basically, it's probably those magnetical images that are basically have electrical magnet to them. These are more than likely what keeps the sun, okay, some of this stuff in its... And we're looking at a complete black screen, folks, but check this stuff out. This is actual stuff that's up around by the sun, okay, on layers, folks, okay. And I think up here to the right, we're actually even going to be able to bump into what I was showing earlier on these shots on the back side. There you go. There's another shot of that object. I got it up at a thousand percent. Okay, that object up on the right hand side. And there's your UTC time on this shot. Sorry about the mic there. I can hear it. Okay. Alright, 2012, January 13th. Okay. So that's the objects that basically you can see from scanning around that are imagery, magnetic imaging of and basically you got totally black screen and there you go there's one of the objects right there okay up there and then we go back down and we will find the remnant right there and some other objects those magnetical ones that are behind and very huge and as you can see the shape will match to what you see the magnetic resonance on when you look at the magnetic resonance uh, far side and so forth on Sechi and, and, and Sun and Earth and stuff like that okay then we have layers, comes from Atlasco 3, and you'll see that that was our white long object. And you can see how the scientists ended up with the idea of magnetizing two satellites together, i.e. planets magnetized together, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? You see that? Yep. And we found other ones, and I've, I've showed you other ones. And then as soon as I found that, they started talking about uh, a lot more about, and also there. So I don't know. I, don't, I really don't think that pressure. I think they were going to tell you about how those satellites are magnetized together anyway. But that's how they do it, to keep those satellites in sync, lasers in magnification. And so there's a lot, lots of planets and objects around here on the Navy 3, black and white. We love these shots, Navy. And you see they're blocking out to the left side. And then we have our black Oort cloud that basically gets resonated down to Earth right now. And also those are two black objects, even though when they're off the picture like that, they're there. Okay, There's astronomers and stuff that want to see you, and that you have all that planets there, those three or four clusters there. Huge, ladies and gentlemen, we would just be like a grain of the smallest speck of whiteness or gray that you see on this. We wouldn't even be any of those specks there. Earth is tiny. We are hiding out in a rabbit hole. We are small, ladies and gentlemen, Earth. Now, asteroid, Habib, and then I think there's way more than one. Okay, so we're going to look to the right here, folks, and you're going to see. Now, you see the layers. We're just like a bunch of records stacked up. Uranus is our black back door, ladies and gentlemen. That's the meatball, folks, basically right there, okay? And then you, as you can see, if I was to blow up to a thousand, you'll see the other star clusters that they even show in that layer, because they, even when they're showing the data, okay, they blow that up at you, that picture, okay? And then that's the layer, and the, the sun is right there in the middle of that all the time, in the middle of our Milky Way galaxy, okay? And then you have all the other planets here, okay? Mercury, okay, and so forth and so on. And then I can take you in here, and we'll blow up, and you'll even see some of the what they are studying around Uranus, okay, because that's Uranus, the big dark black mass right there, and then Neptune's, actually Uranus is around here, so this is probably, this might actually even be the 747 times the size of the sun mass that they found out there in, in space. I don't know, I'll be researching that. Okay, so we blow up at a thousand, and I didn't really mean to hit the record and the click, but here we go. And there, as you can see, as I blow up into a thousand, you can see that they are studying clusters, whether they are bright or dark, around. And that is not Uranus in there. Uranus is actually in a constellation, just like a satellite, in its orbit, like a stereo, a round circle. And it's magnetic magneticism, like we show you all the other planets, okay? Pluto's on one line, Neptune's on another line, and Uranus, okay? And... What else do we have on there? They don't show the other planet, but we have four, five rings, okay? 
So even if that is Uranus, huge, way the back, held back there in space, and like I was showing you in the Soho shots, things start matching up. You can see stuff, ladies and gentlemen. So we slide over to the blow up, and then you realize that there is layers, and then the sun is way the hell in there, and then you see that on those shots, and you realize how big those damn Soho shots are. And then we got the same thing on, on Astrea that I was showing you for a while ago, and then Astrea, I think that's how you say it, five Astrea, sun's in the hole, in the well, and then you, this is a blow up, and then you look over on the layers over there, and then back over to Pluto and Neptune, and that's the box, this yellow box is this here, blown up out here, okay? So that's how massive all these distances are in space, okay? The sun's in the well, the sun's right smack dab in the middle right there, but you always know that when we're looking at the Soho shots, basically... It's in the well. This is the supergiants, and you realize that the idea that it is the supergiants because you are going to see also some other suns that I'll show you. Now, here's a great example of the 14th, and basically they were shooting farther away. As you can see, Mars there, they focused in, and actually, they focused out on this shot, and then we'll focus in with our deal. And they, again, watch this here, and you'll see how massive the supergiants are, folks, because the sun's not putting light off all the flipping way up there. It somewhat can when it does a CME and so forth and so on. And then maybe I can fit in, but you'll see there, and then I'll basically I'll zoom back out, and you'll realize that, the, see that brightness up there? That is the supergiants. And also this here is also, because the sun's more than likely way the flip down here, ladies and gentlemen, or basically very much right on top of there. And if you see my cursor, which is usually a little yellow line, that's probably the size of the sun, okay? The rest of this stuff is supergiants light. And also all this up here, that brightness up there, that is supergiant sun, okay? This is our freshest from the 16th, and as you can see there, that the idea that there is a massive object up by all the supergiants and or the sun, and all the deflection and the difference that you get, and also that magnificent uh, asteroid or a galaxy that, that's sitting right there that you get a good view of on all these Soho shots, okay? That's the one I was showing you in the last video, basically, and it's basically there, and you can see a large planet or Oort cloud of another something right there behind it, and you can focus in now. You can even blow in on that a thousand percent if you want. And there's what we're talking about, folks. Sorry about the jitter there. Didn't mean to do that. And there we go. And you can see it right there. So there's a mass of something there. And we have, you guys can see with your own eyes, the lens flare thing is a bunch of horse hockey. We know it's magnetical energy because we see the layers of the sun magnetic layers that it has and it also has some round magnetic layers because this was earlier today okay the 18th and as you can see a huge planet because it's deflecting the the flares from the sun right there we always get layers so we know there's a huge planet right there and we've been seeing that for quite a while and you can see the layers of magneticism as it has protection way the hell out here folks as we know and also Jupiter Venus also that's not a lens flare they do some kind of electrical deflection of CME action when it comes to in space, ladies and gentlemen. And you can see the different layers that the sun has here, and we also know that it has a different sound and signature wave through space that it travels in also Earth as well. I'll show you that tracking. And this guy or female is great, okay, eyes on the sky. He's been looking at it, and I don't know if he's still out there or if the government or somebody's put it up his ass. But we know about this stuff, okay, that's the remnant. And then he has what he calls big, big kahuna and so forth and so on. And there's some things I don't agree with him on and so forth and so on. But then basically if we have more time together. Now, this is probably, possibly, uh, uh, one of the sons of the supergiants, okay? And he's got, these are all, as you can see, stereo behind and stuff like that. It's all original shots. And we have the remnant of the sun and so forth and so on. And then he says that that's regular, that's probably our sun there that we see that. And it, that is probably correct. I don't really disagree with him on that. There's just other things that we would talk about. But it's very small. Otherwise, I agree with him a lot on a lot of his stuff. Okay? So it's showing you that stuff, and then we see this. There, this thing's rotated around Earth something like 27 or 28 days, I mean, around the sun. Okay? And you get real good looks of it. it and, it blown in. and yes, it looks like, and it's been on the Pink Floyd, I think, album, or I might be right on the, on the band. But the idea that it looks like a baby or something open in its mouth when it's moving because it's got a big crater and a hole in it. As you see that I'm going through the shots, this is just the photos, but you can see an idea that what people get an image and a look of it, and it's uh, basically goes around the sun, and that's stuff that he has captured from looking at some of the uh, shots up here that are, these are all straight up off of, and then you see that, oh, they really don't like, see, 
So I idea that I hope he's doing all right. Keep sharing his. Yes, yeah, Meatball by the Sun.